they're monitoring of you guys. Do they give you guys like access to like the results? And oh, they don't show it to us, but they'll definitely give us information on like how fast we're going, like if we're getting tired. Just it's just basically they just give us a little feedback on the conditioning, but we don't get like a good insight. Okay. Uh, what? Well, do you have to like? Do a sleep log or anything, or tell them like how many hours of sleep you're doing tonight, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But what about the hydration? Are they, how do they monitor that? Uh, I mean, we got all of it at free access. You know, they give us water, they give us drip drop, they have it all for free access. So it's up to us to get it in. Is that uh, one of those new precision helmets that they were tweeting about? Yes, sir. Uh, how, is it, you know, I'm seeing difference with that. Oh, uh, it feels about the same. It's a comfortable, comfortable fit, about the same, but not too much difference. Do okay. you all get like? For that, so it's like a custom helmet that just fits you. So how are you feeling so far this spring? It seems good. like you're you're running. It doesn't look like you're even slightly injured at all. It looks like you're 100. percent I feel good. I think uh, everything we're doing with this process is, is going well. Uh, feel healthy, excited. We got one more practice left, another game, and feel good to go. How has the the conditioning program kind of changed? Let's say your body since the new strength and conditioning will come in. Slight and day. Uh, going with this tempo when I first showed up, it, it was kind of hard, but I feel like at this point it's just second nature. I feel good going through practice. There's never a time I feel too winded. So I definitely feel like I'm in what some kind of the best shape I've been in since I've been here. What kind of advantage do you think that gives you when you get into a game? Oh, huge advantage. Uh, a lot of times you uh, get to the fourth quarter, you're tired. Even the third, second, first, it doesn't matter. But I feel like with this, we're always going to have the advantage. We're always going to be one step ahead of the uh, other team and uh, just always in better shape. And that's a huge advantage. This offensive scheme, do you think it gives you a little bit more opportunities, a little bit more get you out in space, do you think, possibly? Possibly. We'll see. I think uh, right now we're just going through the installs, getting it right. But I feel like definitely in training camp, definitely have an opportunity to put my, uh, set myself aside and uh, have a lot, def, uh, excuse me, a lot of opportunity to make a lot of plays. If you were really successful catching passes last year, do you feel like that could be an increased part of your game maybe in this offense? Absolutely. I think uh, with this offense, there's no like set place where it's going. It's always the quarterback's going through their progression. And the running back has a lot of routes in the offense. So I feel like as the offense continues to grow, the, the running back's role will obviously continue to grow as well. Where do you feel like you guys are now versus typically this time of spring? I mean, with the coach coming in, do you feel like maybe you guys are a little bit behind or, or where as far as, you know, he said that he's going to take a real layered approach with the installation of stuff. Well, where do you think you guys are in that process? I feel like we're right where he wants us to be. Uh, as far as learning the system, I feel like there's nobody out there that's really not knowing the plays. Uh, we're going at a great tempo. We're going faster than we did when we started. And uh, the offense is just feeling like we're used to it at this point. It's just different names. So at this point, we understand the offense pretty well. I feel like you guys have installed a nice percentage of, of what you're going to need to play actual football on September 1st, or do you feel like there's still a ways to go? I think with that? this offense we have right now, we can play football, but I'm sure there's a lot more to go you know, on Coach Kelly. We don't know if it's going to be a showcase type of deal or an actual game on, on Saturday, but how much fun are you? How much excited are you to get in front of some fans and have some fun and show what you guys can do? Definitely going to be a lot of fun. You know, it's our first time showing this offense in front of the, the, the public, so. It's my last spring game, so it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to leave it all out there on the field and be ready when it comes September 1st. Just, what have you seen from... you want to leave on the fans? This is, like you said, the first time you get to be in front of them in this offense. Uh, just that we're here to play this year. You know, we haven't had the best past three years or while I've been here. So uh, just the fact that we're out here to play football. And this is a new UCLA, new mindset, and we're coming. What have you seen from uh, development from the offensive line from the beginning of uh, spring to now? It's night and day. They're... Uh, they have taken so many strides. It's, it's been awesome to see. It's not even like whether you're running by the 2-0 line, 1-0 line. It's just you don't care. It's, they're all doing their thing. They're all doing their job. They're learning every day, staying consistent. And they're getting better every day, and I'm proud of them. you feel like this running game kind of turned the corner this, this year? Most definitely. I think uh, even during the spring, you can see that the running has gotten a lot better. And with the next few months we got ahead of us, we got a lot of strides to make. What's the, what would you say would be the biggest strides you guys need? Just starting to gel more as offensive line and running back core, just uh, continuously going through our plays and getting better, getting stronger, getting faster, more mobile, everything.
the offensive linemen talk a lot about kind of gelling together as a unit. They have O line Sundays or whatever. Do you, you guys get to go do that? Uh, I haven't invited us yet, but we, <laughs> we mentioned something this week because we're a little butthurt, but I think we'll be in on those for now. On. You guys have a running backs thing? No, but we'll probably start that. Running back Mondays. Running back uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday, every day. Last time we talked to you, you were t mentioning about the GPS and you know, Theo having to come back. Right. How much feedback do they give you guys about all this intel they have now between the GPS and the hydration? And uh, you know, I, I know that typically in the past he's done sleep monitoring and stuff like that. How, right. much, how much feedback are you guys getting as far as performance and, and, and looking forward and adjusting as needed, stuff like that? A lot of it's just advice. You know, they just tell us what we should be doing. And from there, we kind of just take it and, you know, we have to apply it ourselves. So, as you guys see, we have a hydration period. So that's a really big thing that they've been focusing on is just getting our electrolytes in and recovering so that we can make it through a full practice without being extremely tired or cramping up. Um, a lot of guys haven't been cramping up, so I think that we've made a lot of progress. The hydration period, have you ever had anything like that before in football? Um, I know in San Bernardino we did where we'd have like these electrolyte popsicles, uh -huh. but never a spring ball. So I think this is something moving forward that we're probably going to focus on a lot and just trying to implement it during practice at some point. When you have a hydration period, is it drinking like electrolyte uh, laced water? or what Yeah, is it? yeah, it's just a powder you put in water, mix it up, shake it up and drink that. So we'll just have a bunch of them in a, in a big tub and everyone's got to drink at least one. How far into practice will you have that period? Uh, it's usually pretty early. I would say maybe 30, 45 minutes in. Right. So it just takes us through the rest of the practice. Have you noticed it made any difference? Uh, like I said, there's I, I haven't really noticed a lot of guys cramping up. Even myself, I haven't feel like I've been cramping up. So I think it's definitely helped. What about the, uh, the precision fit helmets that you guys have this year? Uh, is, that, is that new? And have you noticed any difference from that? Um, I don't even wear one so I actually oh, okay. I can't really speak about that I've been wearing the same helmet for the last two years now so I'm, I'm fine I'm comfortable in the one I'm in so I've made a change okay. have you ever gone through parts of your football career where you've been paying attention to all these things like nutrition and hydration and all that stuff right. that you your um in high school I did a little bit because I noticed I cramped up a lot but I you know being a young kid, I didn't really understand it. So now I think understanding it, knowing when to drink and what I should be drinking, uh, I've prevented a lot of that. How do you think having that focus starting now in spring ball is going to help you when it comes to the real game? Sorry. Um, I mean, it's just like learning an offense. You know, you know your body, you understand your body. So if, as long as you're able to take care of it, you, you can have a healthy season. Where do you think you guys are now compared to where you want to be for, for the season opener? I mean, obviously a big chunk of the team's not here and you guys right. are still installing stuff with the new coaching staff. I mean, do mm -hmm. you feel like you guys have made a lot of progress or do you feel like and then there's a lot to go? Or where do, you, where do you kind of feel like you guys are right now? Um, we've for sure made a lot of progress, but there's still a long ways to go. You know, after this, uh, this spring game on Saturday, we're not going to be on the field again as a team until August 1st. So that whole dead period is going to be focused a lot on just keeping up with the offense, making sure we're doing off-season training with Devon and, you know, just staying, you know, on top of everything, doing the jug machines, the footwork and all types of things like that. Probably going to try to do a lot of the same things I did last year just to stay on top of my game. You guys have a plan for, like, the player-only practices? Uh, not right now. We're just focusing on spring ball, focusing on the next thing. So Saturday's our main focus, but afterwards I'm sure that we'll be doing a lot of player-run practices. Do you have a good sense for how much of this offense is installed and how much is still yet to come before the season opener? I think we all do. I think uh, I think we look really fluid out here. Uh, the tempo is definitely increased from the first practice, but like I said, we still have a lot of progress to make. But I think a lot of the players, including myself, have really grasped the offense. How far do you think the passing game has come since the beginning of spring practice? And do you think there's a lot more installed? Do you think it's still just kind of a basic passing game that they've installed? Uh, for the most part, it's, it's nothing too crazy, but at the same time, I, I still do think that we have uh, more steps to take. And I think that's just something that the coaches want us to do right now, just focus on getting, you know, the, just the meat, the raw meat of it, and then we can add in little things here and there as, as we progress forward. Is it a hard adjustment going into fall camp when you have 24 guys who aren't even here yet who are going to be part of this right. team? And Chip Kelly's known for playing a lot of his freshmen. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that a hard adjustment, to, you know, having a big chunk of guys who are going to be key guys coming in and integrating? I think it is, but at the same time, it's just an opportunity for them to adapt. You know, that's kind of what Kyle was going through when he first got here. Unfortunately, he got injured, but he was going through that same process of learning how to just pick things up quick. And I think a lot of those kids are smart young kids, so they'll figure it out. What, what did you see from, from Chase and from Kyle and, and the times that they did were able to be with the team? Just a lot of teachable moments. You know, I see a lot of me in them, so 
little things that I notice that they do that maybe I've done or I can try to help them correct so that you know moving forward that they can learn from that learn a lot from my mistakes so I try to teach them or talk to them about little things that I can change or that I changed that I wish I had done earlier so that they can uh, you know, progress quicker. How do you think this receiver group can make up for losing, let's say, like Darren Andrews, Jordan, Lasley next season? Uh, I think just bonding, really. Just getting to know one another on and off the field, being really personable with one another and getting close. I think that's what made our team good in the previous years is that we're really tightly knit. So we were holding each other to a really high standard. We took coaching really well. So I think that's really what set us apart. What kind of steps have you seen from Devon during spring? Uh, he's made a lot of progress. I think you know, really everyone has, but for him, just like everyone else, I think once we're able to fully grasp the offense, that's when we'll be really fluid. How much are you looking forward to this spring game on Saturday and getting uh, up on some Really excited. Yeah, really excited. Last year, I didn't get too much playing time, but you know, this year I think I'm going to get a little bit more play, so I'm excited for it. Go ahead. I was just going to say, because you guys aren't going to be in front of your coaches for so long, is there not more pressure, but it's like, hey, I want to leave a lasting impression on these guys before we mm -hmm. get away for a while. On the coaches? Yeah, just on everybody. Yeah, but I mean, I think they hold us to a standard where they know that we're going to be on top of those kind of things. They're not going to really sit here, babysit, make sure we're doing all the stuff that we should be doing or texting us, you know, making sure we're on top of our plays. It's just more of a expected thing. Coach, you said the format's kind of up in the air depending on depth. Uh, how much are you hoping that it's actual real game versus just kind of a practice type setting? Uh, I mean, ideally, I think you want a real game, but whatever coach has set up for us, that's what we're going to do. So. You guys had Rick Neuheisel out here last uh, Saturday. Right. What kind of things did you take from that, his message? Uh, really inspirational. You know, he lo he knows a lot about the program history. And it was cool just hearing some of the names that I didn't even really know about. But, I mean, it's just a really smart guy that knows what he's talking about. So I really just wrote some things down and just tried to engage myself. But, you know, he knows he knows exactly what he's talking about. It's really inspirational. Do you kind of relate to him because he also started his UCLA career as a freshman, as a walk -up? Right. Same thing with uh, even Coach Moore. Yeah, I relate to a lot of the coaches in that way. And I think that just makes it easier for us to connect. And, you know, if they have that trust in me, you know, I knew where you were. I knew, how, you know, how hard it was. I think that's just really cool to share a trait like that with your coach. Have the coaches talked to you at all about a potential scholarship for the season? Uh, they have, but as I mentioned before, that's really not, I'm not really focusing on that. I'm just trying to focus on, you know, the spring game and school right now. It's like you might go into coaching someday? I think that would be something that I would want to explore. I like the game a lot, and I definitely want to stay with the athletic, uh, you know, in that realm moving forward. So I think that's something that I would be willing to try out.